Welcome to fight day, elephant vs goose. The elephant has the advantage of using his trunk as a water cannon. I'd also say he has a weight advantage, but of course the goose has the power of flight. When he gets in close with his beak, he can be seriously annoying. Imagine peck, peck, peck on the top of your skull. Ooh, he decides to rehydrate. Don't know if it's the best time. There's a swing and a miss, and another swing, and another, that one connected. Massive trunk to breast impact. You don't have to be a goose to have felt that one. Fuck. Now the cheeky bastard has decided to charge the elephant. He has gigantic balls. Oh, the goose is looking for a takedown. He wants to show off his Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but there's a nice defensive kick followed by a fucking roundhouse. The big fella is clearly a fan of 90s Van Damme movies. The goose is nimble enough to dodge them, though. Oh, not that one. I don't know what happened there. The goose is standing there like, well, a goose. And he's probably lucky to have not died. He takes a little time out. The elephant turns his back to the fight. That's a piss poor idea. And bam, huge kick to the head. Whoa, a tiny wedged foot right between the ears. I don't even want to think about that kind of pain. And look at the elephant. He is out of it. Crikey, this fight should probably be stopped. The elephant is a stubborn wanker though. He gets a big run up. He's yelling, die motherfucker, die. I'm taking you down to elephant town. But the goose dodges and flies back to his original position. The elephant says no worries and proceeds to do that fucking water cannon move over and over. Yeah, nah, bloody ripper of a fight.